whole bunch of reasons of why kids are having problems with math and reading on standardized tests. Let's just talk like the hood for, for a minute. Uh, a lot of these kids are tired when they get to school. I mean, it's, you know, the privilege is just so thick. It's just like, you know, the kids need to learn and they're not learning. Um, a lot of these kids are tired. A lot of these kids are hungry. All right. A lot of these kids um, have trauma. You know, they're, 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 in, they're in living situations that uh, are psychologically distressing them. I know this because I, I pastor a church in the, in the inner city. And I see the kids on Sunday morning sometimes. They're coming in and they're asleep. And I used to mess with them, like pour water on them and stuff. You know, then I ask, you know, I start asking, well, why is the young brother, he sleep all the time until I see him. He sleep. He like, he's sleeping through the music. He's sleeping through the drums. He's sleeping through the organ. Like, what's wrong? Oh, he didn't go to bed. What he does when everybody goes to bed, he gets up and he watches TV. Oh, that's what he's doing. I'm just saying, a lot of these kids are kind of parenting themselves to a certain extent. I don't even want to use that phrase, parenting themselves. I'm just saying, it's a lot more going on with kids today than the fact that just, you know, they can't read or they can't do math. And I was a little, I wasn't offended. It was a little jarring because I know sometimes I say stuff on the air and people call the station and they're mad at me. You know, there's a big Sasquatch uh, in Detroit right now. Um mad, you know, I've got uh I got cats with bow ties. Uh you know, um they claim the fame is that they wear a bow tie. They're not even in the nation. They're claiming the fame. I mean they're like activists in the community. The communities they've been in the activism community for years, communities worse than it's ever been. But they're activists. They're like, you know, kind of unbecoming irreverent. But I'm just saying, when the white guy says Michigan kids are still stupid, like nobody even calls. And I'm saying to myself, now, what if I said, I had to think about that. I said, now, what if David Bullock said, Michigan kid, it would be, I know it would be an outrage. I know it would be an outrage. If I was on the radio and I said, you know, Michigan kids are, are, are still stupid, you know? And I, I heard that this morning and I was like, I cannot believe no, we're Finley. I mean, I know it was in jest. I know it was sarcasm. That's why I'm not attacking Nolan. All right? I'm just saying that when he said it, I was like, oh, my God. Did he just say Michigan kids? We're going to talk about why Michigan kids are still stupid. And I was saying, well, well what kids are these? Because these aren't the kids that go to Cranbrook. And these aren't the kids in Farmington Hill. And these aren't the kids in McCall County. These are Detroit kids, right? So, I don't know. Dodie Johnson came in. She doesn't usually turn the mic on. Um, she, she, she turned the mic on. Oh, only because I know that you have a very <clears throat> uh, loyal uh, Facebook and YouTube following. Yes. And so, uh, I'm getting a lot of calls about uh, YouTube and, and what have you. And I think that our listeners need to know that for some reason... YouTube has found it fit to take our YouTube channel from us. Oh, the whole channel. The entire gone. channel. So this is not just a, a DAB thing. Oh. Uh, this is, uh, and, and we're, we're very upset about it. We're trying to uh, do what we can to see why, uh, you know, they would take the only urban radio station uh, in the Detroit metro area, probably in Michigan, undoubtedly the only one with 50,000 watts of power. And to uh, to uh, relieve us of our YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. So we're working towards that end, but we are still available uh, on 9, 10 a.m. Uh, Superstation Facebook Live every day. Right. And I want to say that sometimes, sometimes, so people know this, sometimes Facebook, too, mm -hmm. will flag my shows. Mm -hmm. Right. Because they'll... We'll, be, we'll stream live, and they have to be streamed live. It, it will make the board out have to do with this whole right. thing and I just right. so people know that because sometimes you'll go back to see the show the show won't be on there mm -hmm. it's not necessarily that somebody took the show down mm -hmm. it might be Facebook flagged it yeah. and wouldn't let the live get uploaded and, and it, it is because of you know our lower, loyal viewers loyal listeners 
um, we have a large platform and we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people uh, that are watching, you know, on the streaming sources. Right. And so uh, I don't know if they're trying to uh, attempt to monetize what we're doing, uh, whatever the problem is, but we are going to come up with uh, another solution here very quickly. Uh, for our listeners and viewers, but I know that yours are so passionate that I can't, I, love sit, I, passion. can't, I can't sit down at my desk. So I had to walk in here and make that statement that this is not just David, this is the, the station and that they all should be very outraged. And if you've got a YouTube uh, connection, if you're a listener or whatever, then write them and complain to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. call right. YouTube, send them an email. And also, we're going to work on some things. I, I, you know, I do have a website. I, I do have an app. I don't really use it because I want to use nine tens. Yes, the station is important. Right. It, it, we have I want to use nine the station. But, but uh, I know y'all want to connect. So, you know, I got some old shows. Maybe I'll put those up there. Maybe so. Y'all can get the flavor from the 7 to 9 p.m. Right. But, we'll you know, we'll continue to do uh, on our end. But we just want our listeners uh, and viewers to know. Uh, what's going on? Thank and you, uh, thank you that's so it. Much. Have thank a good morning. You. I thought Dodie was going to tell us who those stupid kids were. Three one three seven seven eight seventy six hundred. I want you to call in and tell me who those stupid kids Nolan Finley was talking about. Who were they? Because he said we're going to talk about why Michigan kids still stupid. And I'm saying, I, I, and, I'm, and I know it was a joke, but. It was a joke. But seriously, I mean, if I refer to the kids at DPS as stupid, people would consider me, uh, that would be wrong. That would be insensitive. Beyond the fact that, let's talk about education. Uh, and let's talk about why kids are having difficulty um, with these standardized tests. I mean, in the black community, we've always known standardized tests weren't a good uh, standard for judging someone's intellectual capacity anyway. Uh, we've always thought that tests were culturally biased, number one. Right? So, you know, when um, white journalists talk about education, they don't really talk about it from the black side. And there is a black side to education. We've always believed one standardized test were biased. Two, um, I mean, we had to talk about, you know, the, 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 the lack of wraparound services for, for students in, in urban populations. Right. You know, I, I gave a check to Detroit Public School Foundation. It was a small check. You know, uh, they never really said thank you, Reverend Bullock. But I gave them a check because there were kids that were homeless in the schools. So you got to figure out if a kid's homeless. I mean, they have bigger problems than man. Right. They have, like housing. So, I mean, DPS has, has over a thousand homeless students, at least at that time they did. I mean, so what are they doing to deal with homeless students? All right, what about students that come to school stinking? See, y'all don't see y'all don't want to get real. If I'm stinking, math is not really what I'm thinking. I'm stinking. All right? So where the shower? Where the toilet? Right? Where where the cotex? Where the tampon? Right? Where's the perfume? Where's the axe? Where's the here you go? Hey, sister girl, come over here. And where's the way to do it real quick? You can come early, leave late, we'll hook you up. You got food, it's food. You need eyeglasses, they go to eyeglass, right? I mean, so we got to deal with the wraparound service. Oh, you're being molested? Okay, we can deal with that. You're traumatized by your family? You're coming in smelling like weed. All right, let's deal with that, okay? Mom was smoking weed in your room last Okay, I understand. You couldn't get no sleep last night? Okay, there, we're the counselors. I mean, that's just the wraparound. Then we can get into the, to the pedagogy. That's how you teach. We talk about teaching the pedagogy of the curriculum because the curriculum is all whack, man. So we need to do pedagogy. That's why, that's why I really meant it's time for, time for the People's Academy. We got the People's Store. We got the People's Show. We need the People's Academy, man. All right? Bulldog University. I'm talking. Let's go to the phone lines, though. And I want you to tell me who are these kids that are stupid that know the thing you're talking about. And I didn't bring my glasses, and the screen is blue. So I'm going to have to just wing it. Line one. That dude. Hello. Good morning, brother. Abdullah, you on there? Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm uh, doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good. I was just sitting here listening. Uh, uh, when you talk about the Irish party, I don't listen to your shows. I turn on my EM stand a lot of things I don't like. I just cut it off. Yeah. But um, 
Some of our children are smarter than the elders, the old people are, their mothers and fathers. I'll tell you why. Uh, see, I can't drive no more, so someone has to drive me, drive me all while I want to go into this place. So there's school in there, and the children come in there, and they come on, sit down, and talk with me, you know, and uh, I talk with them. And uh, someone said something that uh, I had to explain to them why the elders, so that she said, why our mama and uh, the brother and father call us uh, B, you know what the B is, and uh, the little boys say they call us little goats, and say, really, they don't know what a, a, a kid is, <laughs> he, 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 uh, what a B, you know, I know you call that name for the girl, well, you know, anyway, I said, well, this is the thing that uh, is going on, a lot of people are saying it, and uh, they have been trained from what they learn, you know, you know, and they hit it, they, you kid, you be, you know, say, mommy, she said, my mommy even come down and call me a bee. I said, but uh, you explain to them, trying to get the dictionary and faculty to look up the names, and then they understand, you know, what, you know, what they mean. It's not uh, talking about y'all, you know. Right. And, uh, but, uh, and another thing I'd like to say is very important about this, uh, I said, I used to call him a dictator, some people didn't like it, but one, uh, uh, one of the top people in the uh, in the Republican Party so he acted like a dictator. So he must have been listening to each other when I said it, you know. And uh, he trying to start the war, like I used to say, you hear me say that, to try to start a war. Because some people, if he get the war started, they can't uh, get rid of him, bought him, you know, the war is over. Right. I said, you better watch out because uh, the World War Three is going to be the end of America. See, this is a uh, shake down, I put it like this, in the hit world. And uh, we better watch out what's going to take place. Hey, uh, hey, hey, brother Abdullah, I'm saying we definitely better watch out, man. But uh, I appreciate the call. Thanks for calling. Uh, I'm still waiting on somebody to tell me who are these stupid kids that can't learn. <laughs> I heard he said, well, what? Well, we want to talk about why Michigan kids are still stupid. I'm trying to figure out who are these stupid kids, right? Seems like the governor that poisoned the entire town with flat. Stupid. Uh, emergency manager, Ray Pension. Stupid. Why, but who are these stupid Michigan kids? 313-778-7600. Let's talk education in Michigan. Um, and let's talk it for real. Let's not just talk around it. We don't need no think tank and no conservative foundation. People that ain't have never been on Puritan. To talk about kids on Puritan and call them stupid. Such a shame. We'll be right back after this. 